Hi, I'm Wade Wingler with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana. We do a lot of stuff here with iPads, and people seem to be using iPads for lots of different things. However, there's a lot of ways to interact with an iPad, with keyboards, external keyboards, and even the built-in keyboard on an iPad is an interesting way to put data in, send an email, those kind of things. Craig Burns, one of our assistive technology specialists, is going to show you two interesting devices that will modify the way the standard iPad keyboard is used. Hi, I'm Craig at Easter Seals Crossroads. And today I'm going to show you a couple of different keyboard, uh, what they call keyboard options for the iPad to help with touch typing. One of these is called a Peely, Peely, and I just got this. It's a rubber uh, device that you attach or slide on to your iPad, and it's supposed to give you some touch typing capability. So I'm going to slide it onto the base of the iPad, and it hooks around the side so it looks and hooks in like that and the idea of it is you, sh you can use your two hands and do some typing it just kind of gives you a little bit of a more definition of your keyboard Oops, can't spell with anything so that you can uh, get more of a feel for um, touch the uh, same types of typing you're used to on a on a laptop the difference with this one, this one does seem to be flexible. When I, when I was ordering it, I thought it might have been a little bit stiffer to provide a little bit better base on there. So it does slide around if you move your hands. It does not protect you from hitting the screen because you can touch things when you're on the, on the, the uh, rubber between there. A second one we have is called the Touch Fire and it comes a little bit differently. It sticks onto the screen and it does give you a little bit more of a touch typing feel because it has some more tactile feeling. So if I clear this out, just return here, and now when I type, I get a little bit more of a tactile feel in the, in the unit. So you can see it's raised and it doesn't have a distinct separation but other than the, the raised bubbles in the middle. So you do get a little bit of that and you do get a little bit of a click by when you touch those buttons so you can, if you can hear that in here, um, it's a little bit more of that approach where you just feel a little bit more tactily. So for those individuals that need a tactile feel on their iPad, you can do that, um, you can get that with this um, touch fire uh, key guard or keyboard. Now the advantage to that is that device is when you do have it connected to your um, your uh, cover, it does have a magnet in there so it can come off with that and it will stay on there and you can not lose it. You can also fold it up when it's on here. So if I have it on the, on my iPad, I can take it off and fold it up or just slide it over so I can get out, out of the way. So those are a couple of options that you might look at when you're uh, using, when you need that tactile uh, keyboard feel or just to separate the, the keyboard buttons on the iPad. So there's a couple of handy ways to use an iPad keyboard in a different way. That's your tech tip for this week. I'm Wade Wingler with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.